Hello, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's reads. For the main part of the read, I'm using RPG Tarot Duck by, I want to say, Jeff Aldrich and John Taylor. Yep. And the website is Simon & Schuster here at the bottom. Feel free to freeze frame and check that out if you're interested in this deck or stuff by those people, of course. Support of Oracle Cards, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Baron reed um, There's a f I know there's a few websites on the bottom here. Feel free to freeze frame and check those out. There's also a Colette Baron reed reed website. I'll give you that information here, too. And also about the illustrator, Jenna. There's Jenna's full name. Hopefully that's focusing. And there's some information on her, I believe, and some websites at the bottom. And last but not least, I use dice. I use a 22-sided dice for the Major Arcana, substituting 22 for 0 for the Fool. Um, and 14-sided dice for the Minor Arcana, with a 4-sided dice choosing the element for the Minor Arcana. It's from the Dice Shop. They are from the Dice Shop. MathArtFun.com is the website. Hopefully you can read that if you're interested. That being said, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email. james astral at gmail.com. That's james number 4 astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. And with that being said, let's get into your reading. Hello Pisces! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Pisces? Picking up the... I usually don't pick up the whole deck. I usually just grab the top piece, but apparently this time I have to hold the whole thing. I don't know why. That's it. Seeing the truth of what's really going on. Okay. So, trying to move forward with something and trying to keep things going. A random element of the Wheel of Fortune coming in. Okay, so, when I see this, um, I feel like something's coming at me. And the Wheel of Fortune is just showing up. The question is, is this good or bad? And does it need to be? Does it need to be either? Does it need to be good or bad? Okay. Um, so something, something is coming towards you. I feel like I've been avoiding it and I haven't been dealing with something that I knew was kind of coming my way. I kind of feel like I've been avoiding it. Like, this is not something I want to deal with, but I feel like I feel like I can. Let's do the dice on this one. There is one face down card. So it's the page of pentacles. Something is moving very slow. I feel like I need to take care of it. I feel like I'm the one that needs to handle it. That's what I keep feeling with this. I'm the one that needs to handle it. And I feel like I've just, I've been like, there's there's things, there's bigger things I have to deal with. There's more important things I have to deal with. I don't have to deal with that right now. I could deal with this a little bit later. I don't really want to, and I don't think, maybe my, maybe right now is not the best time to deal with it. Um, I'm trying to look at it a little bit closer. And it's like, there's something here that I know is fundam fundamentally off. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know that something isn't right where it needs to be, and I need to kind of figure it out, but I'm kind of putting it off. Because I keep looking at the Two of Swords in the past. It could be in the beginning, like, I, there, even if I wanted to, I couldn't do anything with it in the beginning. And then I feel like I got used to that. I'm like, well, it's not time, well, it's not time, well, it's not time. And the situation around me, whatever that is, it's getting to the point where it's not really doing what I want it to. It just seems to be swirling around and getting, gaining more momentum. I feel like it's at a point where you actually can do something with it. 
Can we get like the dice on that? It's at a point where you actually can do something with that. Swords. Page of Swords. Justice. Information's starting to flow. But I feel like I have to go through it and I gotta figure out what's real. And now is the time to start doing it, doing that. It doesn't have to be major steps forward. It just has to be some motion forward. I think that's the trick with this. It's not like I have to jump into it like I have to fix this right now, but it's like, I feel like this would be the easiest if I just start every day just touching on it a little bit, touching on it a little bit, touching on it a little bit. So it's kind of like, you know, maybe the cellar is in disarray. So it's kind of like, I don't have to like block off a whole weekend or even like a week's vacation and deal with it all at once. But it's kind of like every day if I just kind of like walk down the stairs and maybe there's a box of stuff I have to go through and I just bring that box upstairs and I put it next to where I sit for sit at the end of the day or the beginning of the day. And then I bring that box up. And maybe that's my mo that motion for that day. Then the next day, maybe when I'm either in the morning drinking my morning coffee or maybe at the end of the night when I'm just kind of like, you know, sitting there just kind of doing what I do at the end of the night, I just start going through that box and I like tell myself, I at least have to go through at least like a, a third of this box. If I just go through a third of this box or maybe it's one of those things where maybe if I just go through this box now, maybe it'll only take me 15 minutes to do it. I just got to sort it out and decide what's going to stay, what needs to be thrown out and just kind of organize it in this box. And then I put that, then the next day I kind of like decide, well, I don't want to like re... Like, I put whatever needed to be put in the garbage in the garbage, but now I need to decide, like, where can I store this box for now while I do another box so I just don't return the clutter to back where it came from. And, like, every day I just get into, like, little things like this, little things like this. Maybe it'll take me five months to get through the whole thing, but at least it'll start being taken care of. It's something I feel like I really... I feel like I, I can do it, I just don't want to. I feel like that makes complete sense, but it's, like, to start this off... I feel like this is how I can handle this, and I can get to a much better place with it. I get the Nine of Cups coming in. Like, this can go in a much better place. This can be a much better thing for me, going with that Pisces energy, right? Now, I do feel like you might be surprised if you start this process. Help might come in intermittently, show up and then go away, show up and go away. I feel like it'll get a lot better a lot quicker by just taking these next few steps. And then things will start, like, you got the sun card at the base of this with this eight of wands fall out of the deck. And it just kind of hit like this. Things can go better. There's a lot of positive things that can come out of this. You're meant to succeed here. Starting it this way is the, what I'm getting is po probably the easiest way to get this to go in a better direction. Especially if you can get into a pattern a certain time of day, every day, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. This will be really easy. It doesn't have to be a mountain at all. It may take you five to six months to get through it. Maybe three to four. Or it might take you a while. But still, it, once it's gone, it's like, well, that's what it took to get rid of it. And it's done. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, the phoenix is showing up with the knight of pentacles. Information, more information is going to come your way about the truth of this situation. The phoenix coming in with it, let's just... The phoenix is kind of like, you know, there's going to be good things and bad things, but it's kind of like, there might be a cyclical thing to this with good and bad. Ace of Fire, the Justice card again. The phoenix usually has that pattern, which most people, I feel like, know. You know it burns, burns bright, burns out, crashes, re heals, burns, burns bright, burns out, crashes. It goes through this cycle. The Phoenix is a cycle. It's a cycle that has a very beautiful part and a very devastating part. Um, and I feel like th whoever's bringing information is like, okay, this this can go good for a while, but it's always going to have this cycle. I feel like somebody's bringing forth that information. Like there's always going to be this cycle with what's currently in front of you. So when you get to that moment... Then we have to get to this, like, all right, this is this is what I'm dealing with. Even though I say we say it was about the basement, I've cleared out the basement. I've maybe we got to this point where it's cleaned up, it looks right, but I'm like I'm seeing problems down here. 
Um, I feel like maybe there's like a window or something that like it's not right, or maybe there's like there's something here where things are bowing in a way, and it's kind of like all right, all right, what's what's not right here? Like I feel like if I'm looking at the basement, I'm like I'm noticing that something isn't right. And I'm, like, noticing, like, okay, wait a minute. Why is that happening? Is there something missing? Does, some, does something structurally have to be corrected? What has to go on here? Now, there's advice here. Advice? I don't know if I want to use that word. There's suggestions of, like, what, what could go well and what might not go well. Because you're going to get this new information, like, it's kind of realizing this is in a cycle, this is in a cycle, this is in a cycle. And it's kind of like, it's not It's not the best, take whatever you want from it. <laughs> One of the versions is like to run forward and just fix it and just put it back where it needs to go. This card, like the Phoenix is fire, this is the King of Fire. You got to be careful that you don't want to keep this cycle up. Well, unless you're at peace with that. If you're like, all right, this has the Phoenix cycle, that's what it's going to be. I don't feel like most of you are going to really resonate with wanting to go this route. There's something moving forward quickly, bringing it back to like, like bringing it from like it crashed and now bringing it back up to like where it's going to burn. Because it goes crash, burn, burn bright, and then we go back to burn out. So it's like, I think of it like four cycles, like four seasons, if you will. Like burn, burn bright, burn out, crash, and then the healing starts, that's burn. Burn bright, that's the optimal burn out, crash you know, for, I keep, all right, anyway, I don't feel like we really want to keep repeating this cycle, just handling it quickly might bring you right back to that situation, like, just, just fix it and keep going. Another version to consider is kind of like, I don't like this, I'm noticing this one has wings on it, oh, okay, I like that, for this reading, this works good, the ten of swords with, like, the angel being stabbed in the back, um, it's the situation is not dead, but it's going to feel like it is. This is another way to look at it. Like, all right, I don't want to keep going with this cycle, so how do I reconstruct it in a different way to where we don't have to keep doing this? Um, because when I cleaned out some stuff, I noticed some water damage and this and that. <sighs> is there a way I can stop this cycle? Is there a way I can reinforce this that's actually doable for me? It's stepping back and seeing the bigger picture, but with, I'm saying this as a Pisces, it's not getting lost in the bigger picture. So one of the possibilities, and I use my phone a lot, set yourself a reminder for a week from now, give yourself maybe once a day, and like I would set my phone for like at a certain time of day, the alarm goes off to remind me like, have I thought about the situation? Have I made any headway with it? and give myself like a week to make a decision what direction I need to go with it and try to see the bigger picture. It, what possibilities, if I, have I talked to other people, have other people done this situation before, what have they done? Like, is it, is it even a possibility maybe just moving into a different house, like selling this house and going to somewhere else? That way I don't have to deal with this cycle anymore. It's stepping back, realizing I don't like this cycle, and how do I, is there a way for me to like change what I'm dealing with? Is there a way? Like, readings are for entertainment purposes only. I feel like we all know that. But, like, if this is hitting, it's kind of like stepping back and, like, what possibilities do I have? And I feel like they'll show up. What's the bigger picture? Because it's like, I don't want to I don't want to keep participating in this cycle anymore. What possibilities do I have? And you got the four of pentacles, half in, half out, and the emperor reversed. So it's kind of like... Should I be stabilizing this? Should I let it fall apart? What is it? What I feel like there's something here that I looked at as the truth that it's like I need to find out what's deeper. The Emperor reversed is telling me like something here isn't quite there. Something doesn't quite make sense. Something doesn't add up the way I need it to. I'm not handling this the way I want it to. So what do I need to do? Like the Emperor reversed is also kind of like am I lying to myself about something? Am I not telling myself the truth about how this is really going? It's getting beyond that part of like, what's realistic for me to really handle this going forward? What realistic options do I actually have that I can change the schism? I can change this out outcome to go a different way.
there is the possibility of some help, but it's like we have to get through the false promises. But that's not what this is. Well, it does say false promise, but promises. The desert prince. I have to get through what's not real here. I got to see through the reality. And there might be there might be some possibilities where you could have somebody who is more, more, I don't want to say nitpicky, more critical, maybe? More kind of like, this is what you actually have, this is what I would actually do, this is what makes sense, even though that's a possibility that's not likely going to happen. It, somebody who's a little bit more earth-driven, I'm thinking. doesn't have to be. I'm getting the empress, but somebody who's not mean, but somebody who's kind of like, you know what, let's see this for what it really is. Let's look at it not only for what this situation has possibility-wise, but what's realistic for you to actually handle it going forward that you will be more comfortable with, that you could actually be more at peace with this is can go better for me this way. Because I feel like we need to step back and look at the situation a little bit more realistically in the sense of like, not just like what you're able to do, but what do you really want from this situation? And what could you actually enjoy doing to get there? How can we reconstruct this in a way? And this could be just somebody saying, well, this is how you could fix this situation and this is the pattern that I would I would personally take to keep it where you want it to be versus like going through this cyclical cycle constantly over and over again. Because I feel like with, this is what this reading is coming to. It's trying to point out a cycle, a cycle that, you know, the burn bright is fun, but the, the burning out is hard. And it's kind of like, instead of going through this cycle where you're always in this very painful spot, you hit this really great spot, but then you always hit this painful spot, then you hit this really great spot, then you hit this really painful spot. Maybe there's a way to kind of like, you know, pull that in more to where it's not always that painful. It maybe never gets that exciting, but it never gets that painful. It is that acceptable. And what what would it take to help you get to that part to where you can hap ha happily manage this in a way that it doesn't bring you into that energy constantly. Well, not constantly, but in a cyclical way. I feel like that's what this reading is about, though. Like, trying to find a way to, like, not only recognize the cycle, but decide if you want to break the cycle, and if you do, how do you do that? That type of thing. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. Hopefully that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.